Imagine if seven out of 10 of your workouts didn't do a thing. No calories burned, no stronger muscles, no healthier heart. You'd be more frustrated than owners of the Thighmaster. Well, that's kind of what's happening in exercise science research and probably other areas as well. A brand new study tested how reliable the research is in our field. They took 25 research studies and repeated them as closely as possible. The results, only 28% replicated successfully. And in most cases, the effect or the significance of the results shrank, a drop of about 75% compared to the original original reports. That means those dramatic headlines like supplement boost strength by 20% or new training trick doubles endurance might not be so dramatic when someone else runs the experiment. Common problems in the original studies were small sample sizes, incomplete data information, and publication bias towards positive results all of which can make single studies less impressive than they sound. So what's my takeaway? One, be skeptical when someone makes a huge claim based on one small study. And two, don't base your training or nutrition plan on a single study. Instead, look for patterns across multiple publications and ideally systematic reviews or meta-analyses. That's what I rely on for most of my videos. Although I do present on single studies with unique or interesting findings to inform, not to convince. Like this one. Think of it like exercise. One amazing workout doesn't transform you. Progress comes from consistency. And in science, truth comes from repeated evidence, not one-offs. Don't let one flashy study steer your entire routine. Doing so is like the guy who brings a shake weight to the gym. You can check out more evidence-based fitness facts as an example on my YouTube channel. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.